This polished piece of silver is lined with gold and inlaid with turquoise gems. It appears to be a decorative mirror of sorts. An ornate filigree depicting Eshel is carved onto its backside. My dear Nina, once again the attempt to write is fraught with difficulty. However, those flies and bees and bugs galore that I wrote of before, all of those pinhead-sized stinging horrors, would have been a welcome attrition now that I faced down tooth and claw. I fought bravely, but the confrontation did not go in my favor. I will spare you the details out of compassion and not egotism. My wounds have been packed with yarrow and a stable, but I can feel infection in the blood. If you are reading this, then you know I have not survived this place. I instructed Jack not to go on. We lost young Rimmel a few weeks ago. This place, Nina, is not meant for the likes of men, and I will not rob you of a son as I have a husband. I'm tired now. Jack is sleeping by the fire, and I am certain that when he awakes, I will have slipped into my own slumber. I love you, Nina. Good night, Percy. Cusco belongs to Hernando Pizarro, rightful representative of the Spanish crown. Diego de Almagro has been captured. Rodrigo Orgones is dead, and the rest of their heretic forces routed. We made a crossing over the mountains and appeared on the coast outside of Cusco. Orgones marched to meet us at Cachupampa, a poor choice for his cavalry. His falconets threw Gonzalo's infantry charge into disorder but the swampy ground prevented his seasoned cavaliers from true advantage. Our imperial arquebusier breached the river and unleashed hellfire on the opposition. Pizarro and Orgones led their respective cavalries, each merging to a single charging column, all of the men yelling, and met at full gallop. I had never seen such a thing. Somewhere in the chaos of battle, Orgones was shot and unhorsed and killed, they say the coward Almagro retreated from the battlefield atop an ass. Fitting. Excerpt from Alonso Luiz's journal. Careful, careful. this will lead.
This seems to describe a hidden chamber nearby. to be the way up.
Whatever weapon these were attached to has rusted away in the jungle's humidity. There's something etched on them. Can barely make it out. P. H. For Percy Fawcett. But we must be thousands of kilometers from his last known position. How's your arm? This depicts the Incan god Kone. He was the son of Inti, the sun god, and Pachamama, the moon goddess. Kone was in charge of the wind and the rain, although in some legends he was only in charge of the weather that came from the south, while his brother, Pachacamac, was in charge of weather that came from the north. This describes something nearby. Two serpents guard life and death. I lie trapped within their eternal struggle. Gotcha!
Within lies Rally Rimmel, friend, 1925. Hmm. There's a little more. Beware, traps ahead. No one's been through here in years. May Remax be the first voice we hear in the afterlife, and may her stories comfort us. This skull is deformed, flatter and longer than what we consider normal. Some people believe this is evidence the Inca were contacted by extraterrestrials, but it's more likely the result of headbinding, a human practice of deformation so ancient it predates written history. This skull is deformed, flatter and longer than what we consider normal. Some people believe this is evidence the Inca were contacted by extraterrestrials, but it's more likely the result of headbinding, a human practice of deformation so ancient it predates written history. It also has evidence of trepanation, a medical procedure in which a hole is carved in the skull. Pull up. Can't carry any more. I should be able to reach the sarcophagus now. 
Shit, I'll have to keep climbing. The heathen emperor begged for his life to be spared. He offered the Spanish crown a room of three by six varas to be filled once over with gold and twice with silver. The crown, with great and undue benevolence, accepted this offer. Within two months, the ransom had been paid. The idolater, however, could not be trusted. When the cursed plans of his general surprise attack were exposed, Atawalpa fell to his knees, begging for mercy. His fate would be decided by fair trial, as the right of any man in the Spanish Empire. He was found guilty and sentenced to die, but before the execution he accepted the Lord and will be welcomed in the heavens above. Excerpt from an objective account of Pizarro in Peru by Ochoa Aceves.
18th of July. I awoke this morning at the sight of my father wringing his handkerchief tightly between his two hands. Wide-eyed and unblinking, he stared in Raleigh's direction. Raleigh had passed. Infection had set into his wounds days ago and shortly after, fever took hold. Between fits of cold sweats, laboured groans of pain and demented ramblings, Raleigh had somehow been able to insist on forging ahead. Father had tried to reason with him, telling him to turn back, to let us carry the torch, but Raleigh made it clear. Turning our backs on him would have been leaving him there to die. We forged ahead. We were as far away from civilization as we had ever been, and we foolishly continued to trudge forward. So long, old friend. Running water would be nice. I think at this point, I'd settle for no jaguars. <laughs> All full up. Can't carry any more. There's a road. Let's check it out. What's going on? Shit, Trinity, get down. Damn. Crux stuck. I can see that. What are we doing about Follow my lead. What are you doing? Get back. Hide. You're the logistics guy, aren't you? I'm not the one who go onto a bottom bridge. Oh, hold up! I got him! Hold on, you're friendlies. Keep your eyes Someone open. To check back there. And I'll do it. Put right there. Make sure nothing can get through. I want this whole area sealed off. Yes, sir. If there's anything here, we're gonna find it. This thing was service. This is rusty. Don't What are we looking for here? Anything that moves. Anything that doesn't. They still didn't find that relic. I'd love to be the guy that does. For me, why not? I'd be a hero. I'll be dead more likely. No thanks. I'll keep sitting here looking for hostiles. Let's stop before looking, gentlemen. Get off your asses. Yes, sir. I'll check. We're not paying them to sightsee. We'll have to go under. Yeah. We know this. What we're looking for is any smaller room we might have missed before. Okay. It's really wet, didn't it? I'm afraid if we move it, we'll lose it. We're gonna have to reinforce the bridge. It'll be tough to find some. Oh, I'm pretty sure we did test the bridge first. 
fuck off. You're not cutting for it. Maybe we can pull it out. Okay, maybe. What do you think about that? We can take them. All right. You go left. I'll take these guys. What in God? Hide. Hey, Sammy. I told them to test the bridge first. Son of a... Hey! Hey! Sammy! Take this. I hope that's the last one. That was close. Yeah. How do they know to come here? I don't know. Not exactly the civilization I was hoping to run into. My arm is so itchy. That means it's healing. I might have liked it better when it was injured. Oh, I know. I'm just trying not to think about my back. You know, my grandmother survived a tsunami in the 60s. What happened? She lost friends. My family lost their business. But after that, she could feel things coming. Volcanic eruptions, storms, other things. What was your mother like? You don't talk about her as much. She was creative, adventurous. I think she was probably the glue that kept us together. After her death, it was more lonely. That did it. Come on, let's go. Any idea what the twins in that riddle are? Could be anything. A pair of monuments or mountains or streams. And I suppose we'll know it when we see it. Yeah. I see people down there. Hope they're friendly. I'll let you do the talking. <sighs> Hi. Do you know if there's a place nearby we can stay for the night? How'd you get so deep into the jungle? Did you lose your tour group or something? <laughs> no. There were some guys here before, looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. Oh. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Well, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby. Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, three. <sighs> so 
So, what are you here for exactly? Well, we were following a riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Uh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya, you know you're in Peru, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, a long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No. <laughs> Don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? No, oh, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There are some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. Uh, 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 why don't you rest for a while? Are you sure? I promised you a day off. Well, I'm not gonna say no to that. Have fun. You too. New here, eh? We're used to doing a lot of nothing. Although drinking and sweating helps to break up the day. You're not a local? No, I work a ship that blew into some rocks just outside town. The storm came out of nowhere, sunk the damn thing. So, you're not... <laughs> nothing like that. No, I'm... Are you here with the excavation team? No, just passing through. Okay. If you need anything, the market's in the middle of town. You can resupply before you move on. Thank you. My pleasure. Two years have been working up to never to ask her out. I finally do, and now, who is that guy anyway? Miss Ortiz, your dedication and commitment to the village of Kwakyaku is commendable. However, poor Veneer does not accept your charges of responsibility for the terrible state of the village. In fact, the Board of Executives has decided, and your local government representative agrees, if you continue this crusade of slandering our good name, we will have no choice but to take legal action. From the office of Roberto Lavia. Chief Executive Officer, Paul Veneer. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Hey, you want to know your way around Kuakyaku? Just ask me. Are you the local tour guide? Mm, I know where to go, and who to steer you clear of. I see. Best fish is on the dock, obviously. Tacos are best at El Licor de Cerdo, but his beer is piss warm. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. Oh, and Omar, stay away from that guy. You don't need his kind of trouble. Thinks he can just come to town and take what he wants. Right. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for trouble. <laughs> keep them both open. Thank God. The storm barely affected the village. The epicenter was closer to the plane. 
But it could have been much worse. What have I done? What if the earthquake hits here? Hundreds of people will die. I need to find a way to stop it. Have you seen my husband or my daughter? I don't think so. Where did you last see them? They spend their nights with the stars, sparkling and waving at me. But in the morning, they travel to the river. Oh. I usually see them shining there, but the storm muddled the waters. I know they're down there. I know they are. Bet you've never seen anything like this, huh? This is my last one. Sold the rest to that commander fella. He was a little intense, but hey, he bought all my stock, didn't he? Well, except this one. Runs smooth, never breaks down. It's a real beaut, isn't it? Uh, well... No, I'm serious. My wife here, she hasn't been the same since the accident. But the gentle hum helps her relax. I'm glad. There used to be a temple on the island over there, but all that's left is a couple crumbled walls. And one stone pillar, it looks like. That's more a statue than a pillar. Real intricate work. A college professor came out to study it a few years ago. Did he tell you what he learned? He said it didn't make any sense. Was pretty angry about it too. Said we tried to trick him or something. This describes something nearby. Take a deep breath and find me right under another's nose. Thank <laughs> you. 
Too young to be Amber, it may be Copal. It smells wonderful. I'm sorry, do I know you? Sorry, I didn't realize this was a private residence. <laughs> Gosh, we lost a lot, but I didn't realize it was that bad. I really didn't mean to. I know you didn't. But if you'll excuse us, we have a lot of work to do. Looks like this is Abby's family tree. Her family has lived in this village for hundreds of years, and it seems as though she's somehow related to most of the villagers. I've been doing some research, and I think we might be able to set ourselves up with a homemade refinery. It's going to be a lot of work, though, and I can't do it alone. We'll need to build an oil tank, 1,000 litre capacity. The hull of the ship sunk in the river could be used for the tank. Any volunteers for a salvage mission? We'll need to set up a system to collect the crude. Who wants to be in charge of the bucket brigade? Once we get these things set up, we should be able to make diesel, kerosene and petrol. Enough to fly the planes and eventually maybe even turn a profit. Omar. Uh huh? They've been working all night. And? Isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. Shit, no. Now fuck off and let me watch the damn game. What is that? Salazar hace un 
I don't have enough space for that. Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. Everything all right? No. It's all terrible, as usual. These pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. What little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. Thanks. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Piss off, you're spoiling the reception. Omar? Who are you? Looking for work? Um... Well, you're out of luck. We have enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. Don't get many tourists through here. Oh, I'm not a tourist. I mean, I'm a researcher. Oh. Oh. Well, still. Wish you could have seen this place 20 years ago. It was booming. Vibrant. Full of life and so optimistic for the future. <laughs> optimistic. Gullible more like it. What happened? Porvenir happened. Big oil company out of Lima. They came in here, bought up the town, gave everyone jobs. They even planned to build condominiums across the river there, until the bottom fell out. The oil crash. Now we limp by on the scraps they left behind. Shame you're not a tourist. Tourists bring money. Archaeologists just take. This village was once under the wing and watchful eye of the Condor, but we let the eagle chase her away. I'm not sure I understand. Ah, neither do I. We lost ourselves in our pursuit of things, thought we'd be happier with coins in our pockets, but the eagle took that away as well. Haven't seen you around here before. I just got in, but I won't be staying long. <laughs> Don't let how it looks fool you. This is a good place. Difficult, but good. Your garden seems to have survived the storm. Hmm. Luck and hard work. A lot of people pitched in to grow it. So they all came to protect it, too. Miss Ortiz, thank you for your recent inquiry. A water quality index, WQI, was calculated for river sites surrounding the village of Kuakyaku from the samples you provided, and results have shown that the river sites should be classified as bad water quality. The results of the study have shown large-scale impacts that include siltation, chemical pollution, and heavy metal pollution. Turbidity and total solids exceeded the environmental limits. Water of high turbidity, hazy, murky water, cannot be used as potable water, and the high total solids also imply that it cannot be used as irrigation water as well, as this will damage infrastructure. It is most likely that any subsistence fishing that took place before is no longer possible at the affected river sites, thereby impacting negatively on people's livelihoods. 
Similarly, pH was in the high alkaline range as well as COD. These parameters were indicative of some chemical pollution in the river. The pH, that is alkaline, hard water, is corrosive and can damage plumbing equipment and clothes. High levels of fluoride in the water poses the risk of diseases such as dental and skeletal fluorosis. The presence of pathogenic bacteria such as salmonella also represents an immediate health risk for the local community. This is the story of local caverns rumored to be haunted. Ghostly noises coming from deep within the bowels of the earth. No one who's entered the caves has ever returned. Mysterious sounds. Something between the booming of thunder and the howling of dogs. And a mysterious light glowing within. I don't know how they can gossip so cheerfully when we've lost so much. I'm sorry. Wait, you're not Mariela. No, I'm just, uh, so sorry to bother you. Hello? Let me guess, Omar sent you to shake me down? Well, I'm not giving that bastard anything. What are you talking about? What am I? I'm sorry. I, I saw that knife and gone and figured, yeah, never mind. You looking for anything in particular or just browsing? What do you have? What do I have? This is Kuwaki Yaku, one of the greatest archaeological sites in South America. Well, it could be. It should be. If it weren't for pillagers? Exactly. Omar and his thugs are after money, not history. I have items of cultural significance for sale. They may be damaged, but they're worth restoring. Let me show you what I have. Excellent choice. Enjoy. Pleasure doing business with you. You should talk to Abigail. She insists on meeting all the newcomers. You mean Abby? We've met. She's been very helpful. Ah, that's our Abigail. Always ready to fix a generator or stop an argument. She's our de facto mayor, unofficial general store owner, half of the volunteer fire department. And trust me, you don't want to get into a fist fight with her. I wonder how she gets all that on her business card. Ah... Uh... Okay, well, um, good luck with everything.
This is a little bit unusual. It shows herds of sheep, llamas, and goats. But one farmer wouldn't usually tend three distinct herds like this. That one llama, alone on the hill. That must be Urquichile, the Incan god who watches over animals. Urquichile was often depicted as a llama. This is a dedication from all the local herders to the one who protects their flocks, thanking Urquichile for the preservation of their livelihood. I don't have enough space for that. <laughs> this is a promotional model of an oil derrick made out of cheap plastic and copper. There is a logo for a company called Poor Veneer on the base of it. Follow the Napo to the Amazon. Nothing but jungle for weeks. Phillips got the fever and I had to drag the bastard through this forsaken jungle for the last few days. He kept me awake every night, screaming something about being covered in snakes. Just when we were about to succumb to exhaustion, we arrived at a small settlement built at the foot of an ancient temple. The locals fed us and nursed Phillips until his fever broke. After asking around, I found out there's another temple close by, twin to the first. Once Phillips regains his strength, we'll explore these temples. This journey will not have been for naught after all. Can't quite make the dialect out.
Dragon, this must be depicting Pachamama, the Incan goddess of motherhood, earth, and time. She presided over fertility, the harvest, and planting. Her body was the mountains, and she was also the cause of earthquakes. People used to make miniature pieces of clothing, with highly intricate designs solely for the purpose of burning them in dedication to her. That would account for the scorch marks on the floor. And those brown stains must be llama blood. Another popular sacrifice. I 
I don't have enough space for that. 